Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Death Rain on the left and Tron on the right. This is a bounty match. Looks like Tron going for that Chewbacca bounty. I think one person, I think Atreides has claimed it. Yes, because he's claimed every bounty so far. Um, but it was, I think, the only one he also failed, maybe? Um... It's a tough one. We've we've yet to see anybody actually use Chewbacca. Um, I, at this point, it's just you put him in a list and hope to win with the list, not because you enabled the Chewbacca crew card. On the other side, Death Rain playing the role of Denier. R2-D2, Broadside, Matchstick, and Anakin. That's one of every Y-Wing for the Republic. Ion Cannon's on everybody. Except Anakin, R2, or C3PO on R2, and Anakin with advanced proton torpedoes and afterburners. If you see the turn one target locks on broadside, broadside locks matchstick for some reason. Oh no, that's who you want to lock. Looks like R2 and matchstick locked. Broadside, okay. And Anakin locks R2. What the... You want to put red tokens on matchstick for the rerolls. So ideally you would get R2 and broadside to lock matchstick. Anakin wants his lock for advanced proton torpedoes. Gunrunner is going to be problematic. These are small bases for Death Rain, so they can really ruin your day. Maybe Death Rain wants to get over to the right side of the board where there's debris, because then it doesn't matter quite as much if you get thrown on there. He's got all the rocks on his side of the board. Ah, uh, backing up with the Gunrunners. No contraband or pattern analyzer on those Gunrunners, so... A few less shenanigans. Broadside with a three bank, three straight out of matchstick. Han Solo, three straight. Takes a focus. Ooh, Modest bringing up a good point about the why well, we want to make sure those three banks aren't red. They are not. So there are, there is a possibility of afterburners in that three bank. I mean, you could afterburner after the three hard, but you couldn't target lock for advanced proton torpedoes the way you want. Zuck is looking a little lonely. Did he stop last turn? Yeah. So he has to do a blue maneuver this turn. You know, one forward, one bank. I don't like how isolated he is. 
two banks out of the quad jumpers might be a decent way to catch up. R2-D2. I guess target locked. Matchstick, is that what happened? I think he finally got the locks in the right place. Pretty happy about that. Matchstick, three bank. And for the most part, they have their turrets in the right place. R2-D2 has his turret facing backwards. I think he's trying to... I don't know, correlate his ability to get calculates when enemy ships are in the back arc with that turret, but come on. They're going to be beside you. Sixty-eight minutes left. Han trying desperately to get these quad jumpers around him so that he can come around. You have a circle strafe. I'm just, I'm really worried about Zuckas here. Because even if, like, three banks from red, uh, f from the quad jumpers, like, they're still going to be on the wrong side. So Han does have the Lando's Falcon title. Gives him extra dice when shooting. Extra dice when shooting. Stress ships. Not a whole lot of reasons for these BTLBs to get stressed. They could K-turn. They could barrel roll. Ooh, look at this quad jumper. Skirting the debris. Did he hit it? Nope. They're showing off. Yellow. Doesn't hit it either. Takes a focus. R2-D2 3 bank.
There's the stop from Zuckus. Now he just has no mons. Maybe he's got enough turn, uh, enough time to get these quad jumpers in, at least yellow and red. Oh, nice. Matchstick, no valid targets. Same for Anakin. Zuckus will get a shot. Will he use his ability? Attack guy should be better than evade dice, so... Yep. 4v2. Looking for some natties. Gets two. about spending a calculate. Oh, was that in the... Mark you detail. I don't know why you got the reroll there. Took one. So broadside, primary. 2v2 into Zuckus. Blanks out. C3PO reroll. Oh, that's right. I, I was reading C3PO's card. I just went right past the first paragraph. Ooh, yellow. Range three. You know, R2 focuses for one, two natural evades. R2D2 is fine. It's gonna reroll with C3PO just to show it off. See if I'm following yet. Red focuses for two. It is obstructed still. Gets to re-roll. Ooh, that C-3PO re-roll, though. All right, back to dials. Again, Zuckus has to move. Now, the quad jumpers could move first. Trying to think of when is the opportune time for Anakin to three bank afterburner boost in. Han largely irrelevant. We'll see him too. Well, yeah, too hard turn. He's probably only going to have that two dice gun for a lot of the game. Maybe he'll line up some trick shots. But still, 2v1. Worth doing. Does a three bank from the red quad jumper get into track range? I think so. I 
question is, can you move it somewhere meaningful, right? If you can't just throw it on a rock, I'm not sure you want to do it. Because then you've just got a quad jumper out in the middle of the board with no defensive tokens. going to go for it anyway. Got R2-D2. This is when the, the like, 8D chess happens. Did they see this coming? Should I just leave him here and have him go on a rock? Tron says no move. All right. R2 moves away. Double calculates, has the ion turret facing the back. Bump from Zuckus. One of these days he'll have a mod. Yeah, Broadside's gonna have a shot. Matchstick's gonna have a shot. R2-D2's got a shot. That uh, that quad jumper, not long for this world. So unfortunately, I think people with quad jumpers get into that tunnel vision where they're like, I can tractor and therefore I must. That's like, mm, not necessarily. Because that quad jumper, I mean, that tractor is irrelevant now. Nothing can shoot R2-D2. Now, everything can shoot that quad jumper. Anakin moving his lock to Zuckus. Anakin shooting. Two dice with a lock. He's probably going to leave it there. Oh. <laughs> Hit crit. <laughs> Blanks out on Zuckus. Takes two. Matchstick. Range 2, Ion Cannon Turret, into the Quad Jumper, 3v2. Spins his focus for a hit, hit, crit. Three hits. Oh, just the damage. Down to four. With only two shots remaining, so they can't kill you with Ion Turrets. I guess that's something. I wonder if they switch to... Well... They want to ionize the quad jumper because that means no tractoring. But then maybe you switch targets to Zuckus if you've still got more shots. Oof! Blank, blank hit thanks to plated hull. One shield on broadside. Broadside's thinking about it. Gonna go into Zuckus. 
All right. All eyeballs. Doesn't even need his ability. Three hits. One evade. Takes a damage and an ion. Not enough to ionize the medium base, but R2-D2 might follow that up. Three hits. There's one more damage onto Zuckus, and he is fully ionized. Nothing for these quad jumpers. Red's got a shot. Probably, yeah, broadside. 2v1. Takes another hit on broadside. Fifty-two minutes left in the match. No points for Death Rain yet, but he's got control of Zuckus, all the shields off of Zuckus, and a damage card on red. Doesn't even care about the tractors. Probably see a two hard out of broadside that might inform what. R2-D2 wants to do. I mean, he could just bank, actually. One or two bank from those two. Anakin with an ionized Zuckus. That could be problematic. Could see an advanced proton torpedo into Zuckus. He needs to move that quad jumper... Two bank. He's already got the lock. He could just one bank Anakin, then barrel roll him into position. You got the force point in the lock already. You don't need to focus. And if the quad jumper moves out of the way, that means Zuckus has to fully complete that one forward. Ooh. Gonna tractor matchstick. Rolls him left. Catherine gets to make the decision about rotating. Thinking about it. Nope. That is a negative. Three bank out of the gun runner. Takes a focus, too hard out of yellow, focus. R2-D2 
one forward. Already has that quad jumper in arc. And we'll definitely have Zuckas in arc. There's the one forward. So if if Broadside moves out of the way, and you one bank Anakin, that may already be range one. If not, you can barrel roll right. Yeah, there was no real bumping, uh, no uh, blocking you. Han bumps into his own ships. Arc is facing left and right. Three bank left. He was ready for the afterburners, but won't need it. He's even surprised. Gives a calculate to R2-D2 for his ability. The one person without a focus mod, broadside. Whoops. Nothing for Han. And here it is, the advanced proton torpedo from Anakin Skywalker. A lot easier to set up when you've got all this ion on the board. Three hits so far. What well, Zuck has got left? Five. Well, this probably won't kill him. Spins the focus. Takes hit, hit, crit. Console fire. So, matchstick. Could take a primary. Range one, three dice. Rerolls. Matchstick's ability works on the turret or the front the, f the turret or the primary so it wouldn't work on munitions what's he waffling on Take a 3v1 into Zuckus. He's thinking about... Hmm. So R2 and Broadside could finish Zuckus off, I guess. Maybe that's what he's thinking about. Here's the three dice primary. Two hits. Rerolls the focus with his ability, gets three, and that is a dead Zuckus, no matter what he does. Initiative killed, too. Broadside into the red quad jumper, 3v2. Two hits. Two of eight. Hey, Natty's for the quad. Oh, 
R2-D2, same quad jumper, 3v2, range 2. One hit, one evade. Another quad shot, one hit. And back to dials. So we've seen two tractor shots. Just not doing much. I think Death Rain's had a pretty good engagement, a pretty good strategy of staying away from rocks. Knight, thank you for the prime sub. Enjoy those emotes. I notice when Rockcracker is away, we get less oofs. That's right, he is on vacation. We gotta let him know in the Discord that we miss him. Forty-two minutes left in the game, forty-eight to zero. Zuckus, I mean, he was the biggest gun in the game. Han Solo with that two dice primary, he ain't it. Gun runners, especially after their tractoring, nope. Thank you, Tarmo. The sloop from the quad jumper. Now, just imagine if they had contraband and they could perform an action. Well, green's going to handle it. Alright, we're going to have two tractored Y-Wings. Is that good? I can't imagine that it will be, especially given Han's position. Oh, okay.
I guess Han will have a range one shot against the stress ship. Oh, nope, Anakin. Oh. Uh, oh, he's going to spend a force point to not take a stress. Going to deny Han that fourth dice. Tron appreciating Death Rain's maneuvers. It says Big Brain. We, we gotta find a, a Big Brain token. I'm still still on the lookout for that. I don't think he's on it. He just, yeah, he's not on it. He went over it. So no action. Han. All eyeballs. Death Rain shoots first anyway, right? Uh, no, I guess I got the player one wrong. So many turns without Han firing. You just think Anakin always fires first. Spins a force point. Shields off of Han. Oh, no! Dengar triggers, rolls a blank. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, Tron. We tried. This is... Matchstick? Yeah. Double natural evades from the yellow quad. Takes one, though. Nothing for R2, because there's nothing in that back arc. Red quad, going to shoot in a matchstick. Two dice. Matchstick. Shields down. One crit. Matchstick takes it. Uh, that was... Oh. Still a hit because of Plated Hole. Yellow. Last shot. Two dice unmodded. Two natural hits. Should be points. There it is. 24 to 48. Four minutes left. No ionized quad jumpers, right? So that's something.
Anakin... Anakin needs to run away and get another advanced proton torp. Pat in the chat. How you doing? <sighs> I wonder if the new R2-D2 Astro for Republic will cost more or less or the same as R2. Well, seeing as it does more things than R2, I would imagine it costs more, right? I think it's two charges, but it can regen defuse bombs and get rid of um, remotes. It regens with a strain. Hmm. Is it before you activate? Or is it a, an action? I can't remember. Death Rain's still, still thinking. I believe before you activate. So then you just dial on a blue and... It's meaningless, right? Not meaningless, but... You know. Not too difficult. Thirty-one minutes. Tron needs twenty-five points to lead. What's the most expensive Y-Wing? Anakin, thirty-three. Uh, 24 would actually tie the game up, so half of Matchstick. Killing Matchstick would tie the game. There's an easy way to say it. The problem is, if you roll Matchstick onto Debris, you make him more powerful. left with matchstick take another stress and roll for the debris does not take the crit Yellow. We go out here and sit in front of Matchstick. Same with green. They're going to take focuses. I guess that means Lando's Falcon title will be turned on. Han goes to the 4K, doesn't make it. 
His own ships are in the way. Anakin on the rock. Gonna roll for it again. Takes a damage. We'll have a range one. Is that a trick shot? Oh, matchstick is not a trick shot. Matchstick have his arc on something? Yeah. yeah. He's got his arc on Han, so I think you gotta try and initiative kill him. He's not on a rock. So it'll be two plus range plus stress for four dice versus zero. Matchstick currently on three. You, you could kill him. It's gonna be tough. Whose lock is that? Oh, he's the only... Oh, that's Broadside's lock. I was going to say, Han's the only one left on the scum team who can lock, but those are friendly locks. One hit, one crit. Crit gets turned to a hit thanks to Plated Hull. Takes two on Matchstick. Does not get the initiative kill, so Matchstick will get to shoot back. Matchstick, range one. No, oh, did I miss some damage? No, oh, yep, I sure did. Whoops. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just a professional. Uh, Anakin is on a rock. He will not be shooting, despite what Death Rain would have you believe. Broadside. Several obstructed shots. Who's it going to be? and saying no right answers. I mean, keeping red, if you ionize red, is they're both range two. So is one of these range one? No, they're all range two. gonna go into yellow i, I kind of think red because I, I think that would have controlled han a little bit he would force him to go straight <sighs> he might have done that anyway because of the stress spins the focus for three yellow spins the focus for three of aids r2 primary range two out the front maybe that's why he chose yellow because he could follow it up will be a primary though with a calculate nothing blanks out quad jumpers see if yellow's got a shot no i would be tempting to, tempted to shoot anakin here with green Oh, Anakin, Anakin did not bump into that gun runner. Let me just check the chat real quick. Uh, it says he is. Anakin tried to two bank but is now touching gun runner two
So I think we're going to say yellow and Anakin are bumping. I thought about that, honestly, Mike. I'm just too lazy to edit. Hit crit. So broadside takes a direct hit. Ooh. Four damage on five hull with a stunned pilot. So now Tron is leading by 21. <laughs> that says pay me $50 a week and I'll make it. Then I have to like bookmark things and be like, I have to pay attention and here's a highlight moment. Yeah, that's... Nah. Pat, I would rather pay you to run the site. Make me a web store. Pat, make me a web store. Also screen print some t-shirts. 21 minutes left in the game. What's that score? Tron? 69 points. Nice. Why don't I have an emote for that? Or a a gif don't give me Shopify For a looking for a tractor, can't get it. Remember when we saw Zuvio with composure? That was that was brilliant. Deathrain saying he was he was hoping to be tractored. R2D2 bumps into the gunrunner. Broadside bumps into R2D2. So he's not touching yellow there. Solo with the one bank actually gets to take an action. Anakin comes off the rock, bumps into green. Trick shot, Han, two plus trick shot plus Han plus range one should be five dice, right?
So it'd be three dice at range one, plus Han and Trick. So it looks like broadside die. Four, five, six damage on broadside, so he's dead. Uh, wounded pilot into Anik or into Han. Oh, Dengar rolls an eye. Range one. Oh, Epionic says Chewy Crew incoming. Oh, I almost forgot! Let's see. R2-D2. Down to one shield. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. <laughs> he did it! Wounded pilot. Flipped face down. Using the focus. That Han Solo had left over. That, my friends, is the first time we've seen Chewbacca crew used during this bounty season. If Tron wins this game, five extra bounty points. Sports Center that. All right, uh, Pat, I'm going to send you this clip. Work that into the reel for the end of the week. Thank you very much. 89 to 48. Somehow, Tron on top by 41 points. Game's not over yet, but Tron has come back in a big way after losing Zuckus. And after bumping Han for like seven turns. There's the sloop from yellow. Sloop from green. These guys just looking to get some shots. R2 gets tractored. Rolls onto the debris. That's going to give Han the stress that he wants. Rotates to the right. Takes a stress for that. Does not roll the crit. Two straight from R2. That does relieve one stress. One forward from Han. He, I don't think he's got a trick shot there, but he will get the... Lando's Falcon title shot. And I think he's in a place that Anakin can't get to him without stressing you. Well, now you got a stressed Anakin at range one. One, or two plus one plus one, four dice shot potentially into Anakin. Needs to take a stress. Oh, he, he uses his ability. That's right. Spins a force point, gets rid of the stress. After you fully execute, 
here. I think you still shoot everybody into R2. There's no tokens to strip on Anakin. He's gonna go Anakin. Alright. Anakin's worth a lot. One eye. Yeah. It would have been the same if he shot R2, so no big deal. Not going to spend the focus, not worthwhile. I mean, if it was against R2 at zero agility, maybe you spend the focus to get the one damage through. Two force points. Oop. Spends the lock. Really? You're going to spend the lock instead? I guess he wants a crit going through? I don't know. Well, gets it. Death Rain dice. One evade takes hit crit. That's going to shrink the lead. Structural damage. Hey, we might see Chewbacca trigger twice. Could shoot three dice versus two into the quad jumper, or 3v1 ion cannon turret, or 3v2 actually, that's an obstructed shot out the back into Han. Actually, uh, structural damage, right? So 3v1. Uh, plus Han's ability, so two. Shoots into red, range one. Takes the damage. Still above half. Now the quads get to shoot back. 3v0 into R2. Ten minutes remaining. Let's see what these quads can do to R2. Only one of them has mods, right? Oh, he's going to add a, a dice here. Didn't roll the full four dice. It's a blank. Oh, red's the one that tracked her. Okay. So shield's down on R2. There's another range one attack. Oh, natties! That's going to be half points. One, two, three. And green could finish it off. Doesn't have arc. Just Anakin. Range two. One hit. Obstructed. Two dice for Anakin. He's still got... A single force point. Spins it. Takes nothing. Alright, Chewbacca, it's happening! Spins, the focus, flips, structural damage, 
Wow. Best card in the game. I can't even I can't even joke like that. Oh, huh, uh, Tron says he forgot to Dengar again. Whoops. Eight minutes left in the game. R2-D2 on death's door. Can you throw a Y-Wing anywhere meaningful? Hmm. I think Death Rain just doesn't want to die with both of his afterburner charges. That's got to be a goal of his. Backs up with red. Ooh, that's spicy. Thinking about tractoring Anakin. Just going to let R2-D2... Go off on his own way. Not going to move him. Green bumps. Gets rid of the stress. Double calculate. We'll see 3PO. Hard 2. From Han. Goes for a focus. Pull in double duty here. Ooh, yep. There's the 4K. Spends a force point to get rid of it, but... Gonna bring him to zero force. Could take a focus, maybe. There it is. Nothing for Han. Anakin into Han. Han's got five. Here's a 3v1. Hit, hit, crit. I mean, that's one way to do it. Rolls nothing, takes hit, hit, crit. Let's see what the crit is. Could be a third Chewy opportunity. Direct hit, negative. Down to one. Five minutes remain. Tron in the lead by 31. Oh, that, that killed him? Man, I'm off on my damage values. So now Tron needs two points to lead. Let's see, green and yellow. Yellow's taking a damage. Could send it right over that debris, and that's what he's going to do. Spins the calculates for hit, hit, crit. One evade. That is a damage and an ion on yellow. All right, green quad jumper. Range three into Anakin. Hit crit. Flips it down to a hit with plated hull. One evade. That is two damage on Anakin shield and a hull, but that puts Tron back on top, leading by 32. Uh, accidentally hit the ion button. Uh, I think you can... They're going to 
use the dial to reverse. I'm getting back where he's supposed to be. and trying to fix it he's he's gonna put in the command for a three straight back i guess there we go red gonna take that last shot range three into r2 d2 one hit two dice for r2 two natural of eights Two and a half minutes, maybe one turn left. If Anakin, with 33 points needed to lead 32 to tie, kills an entire quad jumper, it still wouldn't get him the points he needs to win. He has to kill a quad jumper and a half. I don't think he can do that with two minutes. Also, I think you gotta. Yeah, you don't have a one forward blue, so a two forward with red. Maybe barrel roll right. Coming down to one and a half minutes. No reason to rush if you're Tron. Leading by 32. After a pretty disastrous start with Zuckus. And a lot of control from these Y-Wings. Tron has definitely come back in a big, bad way here. Does not roll the crit on the debris. Checks for tractor, doesn't get it. does get it on Anakin. Roll him forward. Get him even closer. Probably bump into yellow. Why roll him left? You know he's got to go forward. Oh. Too hard from R2-D2. No range. Could barrel roll. Goes with the calculate. Ah, okay. Afterburner. That's what he was trying to do. Alright, I think this is... We got two shots. Quad jumpers are the only ones with shots. One hit. Takes it on Anakin. Down to three. Red will get a shot onto R2-D2. Could kill it. But not with those dice. One hit. R2-D2 with C-3PO rerolls. Doesn't need it. Spins all the calculates. Takes nothing. And that will do it. GG. Congratulations to Tron. Sticks with it. And walks away with the win. Collects on that... Uh, that Chewbacca bounty, second one today, actually. Congratulations. He's getting those bonus points. He triggered Chewbacca crew twice. That's incredible. So, great job, Tron. Thank you, Death Rain, for playing, and thanks to everybody for watching. That'll do it for this match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.